Chapter 4 Captain Underpants and his Mary Sucktopus by George Bill and Harold Hutchins. Once there was this alien sock that was super stinky. His name was Stinky Spree Stock and he lived in Sinker Den. All four disguised were off to home planet first. We are over and stocks you know, excited and stuff because stinks are not the plan. Then gave a stink plant of stock to a big oak sock like actual big old sock and they kicked into space. Stinky Spree Stock landed on Earth right in the laundry box before Stinky. Outside, George and Harold gym class. What are the odds? Stinky Space Sock took one stiff and all. And, uh, I'm ho um, He tried taking out to the other socks, but they were back. St they were socks, 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 lot live alien socks. But Stinky Space Sock had an idea. Johnny, Mrs. Mel, brothers and sister are uh, not. Stinky Space Sock used alien sock to clean the stick all of the the sucks him to itself and become a source of Mary Sucktopus. I'm making off into for the planet that so sticky and go no for says Mary Sucktopus start swinging in sock trackers and over time thinking oh, for everything. Luckily Captain Abyss won tra la la coffee yikes who goes for bogus. While Captain Underpants was busy holding the nose, a sock tin could grab his and grab him with the sneezy strong Take a but then Captain Underpants starts as fast and stay. Whisper and wiggle. Woo go 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 cop. Captain Underpants lets suck the purse into a mini buff. Cause. Troll a little monster into a giant last hole. I don't know about that guy. But anyway, when he used the whisper to try to swing start the whole back. For a giant school, for suck the purse back into space. Sinky stuck to her. And the days Mary suck the purse remains in place of school. Okay, with others each other in space shoes forever we hope dun 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 the end. Whoa, Lincoln, I think you really hurt her feelings. Come on, Clyde. Ronnie Ann is the toughest girl at school. She'll be fine.